Hello, you're watching Airy TV and welcome to Open Mic for this week. My guest for today is Samhar Gamay. She's an Eritrean from Sweden and an active member of YPF DJ and Eritrean community. Samhar, thank you very much for being here. Please for give us a, a brief introduction about yourself. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me. Yeah, I'm uh, born and raised in uh, Sweden. Uh, I'm 28 years old and uh, my educational background is in, uh, I have a master in um, engineering in biotechnology from Lund University in Sweden. And I did my master thesis in Japan for six months. And that was about artificial blood or blood substitutes, which led me into my current PhD project, mm. uh, which I'm conducting at uh, Chalmers Technical University, also in Sweden, and uh, specifically within food science. Okay, interesting. Now, let me ask you about your profession, which is food scientist. Please tell us what exactly food science is all about. So, food science is about understanding the chemical reactions, the bi biochemistry uh, of the food components. Uh, it can be about how we can preserve the quality, how to process different types of foods, uh, but also how food is affecting our health. Uh, so, there are many different types of um, yeah, but basically it's about understanding the, the chemistry around uh, food science or the technologies. Okay, mm. good. I heard you're doing a research back in Sweden. What can you tell us about this? So I am, um, as I said earlier, I am doing mm. my PhD and I'm in the end of my PhD. So by end of November, I'm hopefully done and I will be Dr. Samhar Germay. Mm. Um, at the Chalmers University, we have a division, um, food and nutrition science. And within that group, we have a smaller group within marine, uh, marine resources. Uh, some of the researchers, they are working with seaweed, some are working with fish. And for me, I'm working specifically with the fish quality and how we can preserve that for a longer time so that we can better uh, utilize our fish raw materials. Interesting. Mm. Do you have any plans to come back to Eritrea and do your research about Eritrean marine resources? Yes, that would be very interesting because we have a big uh, biodiversity in our ocean, in, in the Red Sea. Uh, we have very big capacity in Eritrea, um, untouched resources, marine resources. So, of course, also for me, when I w was cho choosing to do this PhD, I had Eritrea in my mind all of the time. Uh, it would be very very interesting and, and fruitful for me to uh, to contribute with knowledge or uh, to some degree uh, to build a um, fish industry in Eritrea someday. Uh, also, I have been um, in uh, collaboration with Dr. Eden Tareke. I know her from uh, Lund University when I was a master's student. Mm -hmm. And uh, she she's also working with food science. So we had started uh, some smaller research projects to the, together. So hopefully I can also continue uh, within research in Eritrea, hopefully. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Now let's talk about the seminar you conducted recently with members of the National Union of Eritrea Women. What was the object of the seminar and what was the feedback from the participants? So uh, this uh, seminar was part of my uh, PhD, uh, PhD in Sweden. I have to conduct um, a popular science presentation for people that are outside of research. I should present my research in, a, in, an, easy, in an easy way. Uh, so I asked them, since I'm coming to my home country, if I could do the presentation or the seminar here. And since that's, that was okay, I contacted uh, the National uh, Union of uh, Eritrean Women, which I have contact with since uh, Sweden. Uh, and then they helped me to, uh, to spread the information about this seminar and, and give me an audience. Uh, the seminar was very good. Uh, I got a lot of uh, good and clever questions from the audience, but also a lot of feedback. And the feedback is very different from the type of feedback that I get from... Uh, I've been doing um, presentations at different types of international conferences, mm -hmm. but coming to your home country and, and doing this kind of seminar, for me it's a small thing, but it's so appreciated by the people, by my people. Uh, so that gives you a completely different type of strength and support. So that was amazing. Okay, okay, good. Um, 
You are a member of the Eritrean community and YPFDJ in Sweden. How active are you in these organizations? Tell us about the activities of the Eritrean community in Sweden uh, in general and YPFDJ in particular. Tell us about this. Yeah, uh, that's true. I'm part of uh, YPFDJ since uh, 2017 and that was when I was in the end of my uh, master. Mm -hmm. I decided that I had to start becoming an active member of the Eritrean community and, and start to, to learn more about what we need to do together in Eritrea or even in the Eritrean community outside of Eritrea. So I contacted the Eritrean embassy in Sweden uh, and got in contact with YPF DJ. And since then I've been learning a lot about Eritrean identity, what we need to do, the situation in Eritrea and outside of Eritrea. So I've learned a lot. Apart from that, I'm also, I'm also part of um, uh, National Union of Eritrean Women. So uh, we have started a smaller group um, for for the younger women in mm. Eritrea, uh, in Sweden, Eritrean women in Sweden. And in this group, we have started a project uh, with Tesfai Gabrab's name, because he was a very brilliant author, mm. and he was trying to support young Eritrean women to write uh, our history from a female perspective. Yeah. Uh, which is very important. Uh, so now we are trying to support some uh, yeah, young authors, uh, female authors, to, to, to write the history from female perspective. Uh, apart from that also, uh, my younger brother, Efrem Germay, he was, uh, uh, he was swimming for Eritrea in the Olympic Games mm. uh, last year. Okay. And after that, he wanted to contribute to Eritrea also. Uh, so he had a vision of uh, trying to teach swimming in Eritrea. So mm -hmm. together with our younger sister, Hanna Germay also, we have a project. Uh, it's not only my siblings, it's also Binyam, Daniel Christiansson, mm -hmm. many other brilliant people that are part of this project. It, the project is called Tu Hager and we also have a website. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is to uh, teach young Eritreans to swim. Uh, to, to have a culture of becoming good swimmers also in Eritrea, to utilize also the, the capacity through swimming, uh, because we have a big ocean. Uh, so, yeah, I'm part of some different projects. Okay, okay, interesting. You've been here in Eritrea for three weeks. Now, what impressed you the most from what you have seen so far? Apparently, many Eritreans have flocked into Eritrea to visit for family and for vacation. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, so I haven't been in Eritrea for nine years, which is a very long time. So I've missed the country, my community, my people, my family a lot. Uh, one of the first things me and my sister uh, noticed when we were coming here, we had a transit in Istanbul in Turkey. And uh, already from there, the vibe was completely different. Um, the Eritreans that we met at the airport, um, traveling to Eritrea were, were so happy, the vibe was so familiar and warm. So already from there, you could feel a sense of home being around all of these Eritreans looking forward to come home. And then also landing in Asmara airport, uh, the, how people received us and everything. You really, you really feel at home uh, landing here. And then of course I missed my my family, so it was very nice to meet them. Apart from that, I've been. Uh, my uncle took us to some places around Asmara to see some of the new developments that are um, happening. Uh, the new big roads, uh, the dams that have been built, uh, Adhallo, Gergera. So it this gives you a lot of um, encouragement, and and uh, yeah, we have a bright future. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Um. I have one last question. Do you have any plans to come to Eritrea? What's your future plan? So uh, short term, to finish my PhD now by the end of this year. And then after that, I want to continue within the fish industry because I see a big capacity also in Eritrea. Whatever I, I learn, I, I want to apply it also here. And since we have a big marine source, um, I would be very happy to contribute with my knowledge to the fish industry in Eritrea. 
uh, and to make that stronger and uh, a big potential uh, for the country. Uh, also, hopefully, I can continue within research. Uh, collaborations with Eritrea would be very nice. So I hope uh, that I can continue with that. Thank you very much for being here, Samara. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching.